Hi, my dear friends. How are you all? Welcome to Vidyanagar Public Schools online classes. Okay, tell me which is the chapter that we were dealing the last class? Do you remember? Yes, we were learning a story, right? What is the title? What is the title of the story? Yes, Tommy's Missing Dollars, which is written by Louis May Alcott. Tommy's Missing Dollars by Louis May Alcott. This was the story we were discussing in the last class, right? So, it is the story of a very little boy named Tommy. Yes, so in that story, he missed something. Till then, we reached, right? Tommy missed something. What did he miss? Yes, he missed his dollars. And what is a dollar? Dollar is a currency, right? It is the currency of which country? Yes, dollar is the currency of America. Right, very good. And who all are, were the main characters in that story that we were discussing? Just tell me. Yes, the main characters are Tommy, Tommy, Mr. Bear, Mr. Bear and Mrs. Bear. Mrs. Bear is not so important. She, she's just coming in one scene and she's going, right? And Nat Blake. Another character is Nat Blake, right? Then Dan. Then they are friends. Tommy's friends. Of course, they are also main characters. And Jack. Jack is a also main character. Let's see. Okay, let's see the story further. What is going? Before that, let me sum up what we have discussed in the last class. Okay. We have, we knew that it is the story of a little boy named Tommy. Tommy was having lots of hen at his home, right? So he was earning from it. How? By selling the eggs. By selling eggs, he was earning money. But he was very little boy. He do not know how to spend the money, right? So he was spending the money recklessly. Recklessly means carelessly he was spending the money. So one day Mr. Bear came to him and said that you have to keep the money in a bank, right? So he was keeping the money in that. What in, in, in what he was keeping the money? In such a thing like where he was keeping his money? In a bank. Bank means a pinky pouch bank which was presented by Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear presented something which we, which where he can put his money and save it. And uh, Tommy said one thing, Tommy will break this once it reaches $5. So he was having $4 in his pouch or in his bank. And when he sold some eggs to Mrs. Bears, he got one more dollar. So he got, so his money became $5. So he was so enthusiastic to break it. Yes. So he went near to his friends and he was calling out. He was calling his friends and that time Nat was there, right? He was discussing with Nat and they were, they were near a brook, a small stream. They were near a small stream, a brook we call. So there they saw a snake, right? So they were all very afraid very uh, they were all very excited to see the snake they all went in between the tommy kept his uh, money where inside the winnowing machine inside the winnowing machine he kept his money and he was immersed in the immersed in watching the snake and he was absorbed by the exciting scene of seeing a snake and they, they forgot and Tommy also forgot about all these things and he forgot about his money. He went back home and when he was about to sleep, he when he reached his bed, suddenly he got reminded, oh my God, I kept my money there. Oh my God, I lost it. So he was very afraid, but he was uh, so happy, but he got a relief that. Only Nat knows that I kept the money there. Only Nat know that, uh, knows that I was having money with me. Nobody else knows that uh, I had money with me. So he fell asleep 
it, in that relief he fell asleep right and the very next day he came to the class and he was uh, yelling out and he was calling out everyone who took my money who did you see my money like that he was discussing with everyone right and everyone did not agree with him everyone says that they haven't they, they haven't seen and they haven't taken his money everyone was saying like that and at last they all they all suspect nat why they all suspect nat because nat had the habit of saying lies once in a while he he would say lies and he is a he is also saving his money to buy a fiddle what is a fiddle a violin he was also saving money to purchase a fiddle so everyone suspect uh, our nat blake thinking that nat blake took the money and they were all discussing all these things in that time mr bear comes in and he asks after that and everyone says the things tom explains what has happened till then we have reached right so we all are enthusiastic about the story and we all excited to see what's going to happen further in the story right yes let's see what is happening in the story before moving into the story let me ask you some questions what normally the teacher will do if someone or if a girl or a boy in a class misses something very precious very costly things what we used to do what our class teacher used to do when we were when you guys are in classroom you might have uh, had an experience like that okay all of you rest when somebody misses something the teacher would come and she will ask all of you to sit in the place where you are about where you are and uh, check in your bag this is the usual thing that the teachers used to do let's see what here happens let's see all of you ready okay let's read mr bear came and said tommy repeated the story of his loss and as he listened mr bear face grew very grave mm -hmm. god then he said take your seats he said now boys i shall ask each of you a question i want an honest answer i'm not going to try to frighten bright or surprise the truth out of you for all of you have a conscience and know what it is for now is the time to undo the wrong done to tommy and set yourself right before us all he paused a moment so what he was saying he was saying to sit down everybody please sit down and please i'm not going to question your conscience and what is conscience the moral sense of what is right and wrong conscience means every one of us having a conscience right we all know what is right and what is wrong yes so he is saying that he is not going to question your conscience or question or bribe you what is bribe bribe means to to, to make someone to do something by giving certain money or something like in a not in a good way okay he paused a moment and one might have heard a pin drop there is pin drop silence the room was so still there is no sound then slowly he put the question to each one receiving the same answer in varying tones from all when he came to nat his voice softened for the poor lad looked so miserable that mr bear felt so sorry for him so he was coming to coming near to everyone he started asking to each one did you do that do you do that did you do that like that he was asking then he reached near nat nat blake so by seeing his face the professor mr bear became so sad and he felt sorry for him 
because he is so miserable his face is so miserable so he asked in soft voice in a in a, in a affectionate in a loving manner now my son give me an honest answer did you take the money my dear son he asked in a very polite way did you take the money no sir i am very sorry i am very sorry nat but the evidence is against you but the all evidence is against you and your old default makes us more ready to doubt you than we should be if we could trust you as we do some of the boys who never fib but mind but mind my child i do not charge you with this theft i shall not punish you for it till i am perfectly sure nor ask anything about anything more about it fib means lie fib means lie so he was saying he will not question you further and nobody else also question or discuss about this matter any more i didn't i didn't sobbed nat i didn't so nat was crying sobbed means he was crying and he was saying he didn't do anything wrong he didn't do mr bear shook his head and added regretfully he shook his head and added there is nothing more to be done then and i have but one thing to say i shall not speak of this again and i want all of you to follow my example he was warning everyone everyone should not discuss about this these things any more he was saying he won the hardest thrashing that nat had ever received from his father had been far easier to bear than the cold looks and general suspicion that he met with he suffered a week of slow torture though not a hand was raised against him and hardly a word was said most of the boys left him alone except dan who watched over him pro- protectively okay after this incident everyone was looking at him in a suspicious face and everyone was not speaking with him in a very good way but the character of dan but dan was very protective about him he was a good student he was very protective ab- about mr master nat one day while hunting for eggs tommy asked billy for a bit of chalk to mark the eggs billy mounted a stool and looked where tommy kept his writing materials there's lot of money here said billy billy said tommy hopped up to see what billy was talking about but nearly tumbled down again so nearly he tumbled down again for he was greatly surprised to see four bright quarters on a piece of paper with tom bangs written it written on it so he saw some pieces of um, quarters quarters is also a coins it's, it's a currency like a coins and tom bangs written on it grabbing them tommy dashed into the house crying wildly it's all right got my money where is nat so tommy was so happy so he was just racing off race off or just running towards nat where is nat nat was soon found and his surprise and pleasure were so genuine that few doubted his word when he denied all knowledge of the money so nat also became very happy to know that oh my god everyone understood i am not i am not the culprit i am not the one who stole the money mr bear was very glad to hear the news and waited for further revelations 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 meaning surprising and previously unknown facts that have been made known to others that is revelations that is proofs hmm? more to prove they came sooner than he expected as they sat at supper that night what is supper that we eat in the night a square parcel was handed to mr bear mr bear got a parcel mr bates mr bates a neighbor had sent it mr bates sent it well not accompanied it and while mr bear read it 
Demi pulled off the wrapper and exclaiming, Why, it's the book Uncle Teddy gave Dan. It's actually the book given by Uncle Teddy to Dan. Mr. Bear looked up and said, The note is from Mr. Mrs. Bates. And she says that Dan had sold the book to her son, Jimmy, last Saturday for a dollar. She saw that it was worth much more than a dollar and thinking there was some mistake and has sent it to me. Did you sell it, Dan? So, Mr. Bear uh, got this in. And not from the Mrs. Bates. Mrs. Bates was so doubtful. This is a very costly book. Why did he spend a book for a dollar? That's what. That's what. And Mr. Uh, Bear asked, Did you sell it, Dan? Yes, sir. Why? Wanted money. For what? To pay it to Tommy. He never borrowed any money from me in his life, cried Tommy. Looking very surprised, Tommy said, Oh my God, why? Why do he need to give money to me? He did not borrow any money from me. Then why? I must have this settled right away. Did you put the dollars in the barn this morning? Asked Mr. Bear. So Mr. Bear asked to Dan, Did you put money near the barn? Dan looked him straight in the face and answered steadily yes i did but i won't say another word about it not even that you are sorry asked mr bear troubled by the change in dan i'm not sorry said dan before hurrying out of the room when mr bear came into school the next morning he looked very happy and relieved he went to dan and taking him by both hands said i know all about it right now i know all about it now but it's never right to tell lies even for a friend even for a friend you should not lie what is it cried nat nat cried what is it Dan did not take Tommy's money, said Mr. Bear. So Mr. Bear said, Dan is not the person who stole the money from Tommy. Who did then? Cried the boys in a chorus. All boys asked him, who did then? Mr. Bear pointed to one empty seat. She, he pointed to an empty seat and said, and every eye followed his finger. Jack went home early this morning. But he left the snot behind him. So, there was a student named Jack. He left a knot behind. Let's see what is that knot. I'll, I'll read. Just see. It is in page number 15. I took Tommy's dollar. I was peeping in through a crack and saw him put it there. I was afraid to tell before, though I wanted to. I didn't care so much about Nat, but Dan is a gem of a person and I can't stand it any longer. I never spend the money. It's under the carpet in my room. Right behind the washstand, I'm very sorry. I'm going home and I don't think I shall ever come back. So Dan may have my things, Jack. So, who is the culprit here? Who stole our Tommy's money? Jack. Yes, Jack stole the money. Though it was kind lie. So, Professor was saying to Dan, Though it was a kind lie, and I can't help forgiving you, you see, it did no good, said Mr. Bear with a face full of relief and affection. It kept the boys from plaguing and plaguing the gnat. That's why I did it, explained Dan, as if glad to speak about, speak out after his hard silence. So, Mr. Bear is talking to Dan. Though you said the lie, it is for good. 
though it is for the good or though it is for your friend you should not lie actually dan is a very good character dan was the very good student in the class okay and uh, jack could not bear if when everyone was saying everyone uh, suspected uh, started suspecting dan so jack felt so guilty so he gave the money back and everyone Uh, stopped uh, plaguing Nat. Plaguing means troubling and causing the distress. Everyone was dis. Uh, everyone was uh, not talking with the Nat before that. Before that, right? So, uh, plaguing uh, Nat. Nat also stopped. So, uh, so this is the story written by Louisa May Alcott. So, it is a beautiful story, right? Yes, it's talk about the friendship. and you see how loving our dan is dan is very loving right he wanted to protect his friend though he did not do anything wrong he is just protecting him so it is a very good story and it also teaches us we should not be judgmental what is judgmental we should not judge anybody he is not good he is good and he is bad we should not judge anyone without any proof or without any evidence we should not be like that we must be very loving to everybody right we don't know who is he from where he is coming what is his uh, condition whether he is in a dilemma whether he is in a confusion whether he is happy we do not do that so we all must not be judgmental about anybody here what happened every students were judgmental about nat blake everyone was saying the nat is the culprit nat is the uh, thief these things this should this should this, this should not be happening with you guys you must not be judgmental we you should be unbiased you should not be having any bias towards anyone okay this is the story that we have discussed i hope all of you may have understood the story right so which are the new words that we have discussed today in the chapter the words are the first word conscience conscience what is the meaning of conscience how do we pronounce conscience the moral sense of what is right and wrong the moral sense of what is right and wrong and what is the meaning of fib fib means lie yeah lie then plaguing plaguing means troubling troubling who who got who was getting troubled nat everyone was troubling nat right and sobbed nat sobbed what is the meaning of sobbed cried nat cried a lot right and protectively protectively means trying to keep someone safe who was very protective in the story in the story who was very protective our character of nab the student nab was very protective about everybody he is protecting whom nat in the story so uh, the character of dan is very nice he was gem of a person everybody loves him everybody likes him so much right so these are the vocabulary you must study this vocabulary very well and uh, try to use these new words in your daily conversation then you will never forget these words so please try to use these words okay study very well this vocabulary will make you a better speaker english speaker okay okay mamas like to give you some homeworks so you have to do section b section a answer these questions we have already completed so here is your homework you have to complete these sentences according to franz nat was the only person who you have to complete okay mr bear did not punish nat because why you have to complete nat felt very hurt by who you have to write dan had sold the books in order to why he sold his books you have to write jack went away because jack went away because why you have to write 
so all of you please write his answers and we will discuss we will have a discussion in the online session okay till then take care bye